So I think we got all of this stuff done. Polar Bear, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on into the show tonight. Always nice to have new people joining us. All right, let's talk about this Dog Turd Assault Champion event. So, <laughs> where do we begin? Let's start with the fact that they didn't release it earlier in the month. They held off on doing it because obviously they thought there were some problems, right? So they pushed it back almost a, like a full week to, uh, to roll it out now a little bit later so they could iron out some of the kinks with it, right? That's usually why you push something back because you're still working out some of the bugs and glitches on it. And then you released this event this morning, not even during event reset, you know, at noon for me, whatever time zone it is for you guys, but like two, two and a half hours before event reset, they just rolled it right out and it went live. And, you know, the thing about starbase assaults is, is when somebody attacks your starbase, it's supposed to put an announcement in your alliance chat that someone has started an assault against your alliance. That way you know your starbase is being attacked. So you don't have to sit there and stare at it constantly throughout the day. But that didn't work either. So you rolled an event out two and a half hours before anybody was expecting it to be rolled out. And the notification function wasn't working either. So how many people got their starbases attacked and cleared out of all their resources because they didn't freaking know the damn thing was even starting. That's my complaint with this event. That's piss poor planning and execution. And I stand by the comment I left on Rev's video that who's ever responsible for this, fired. This is terrible. This is inexcusable. This is just beyond textbook sloppiness. And there's my two cent rant. This event is so bad so bad your solo milestone event is to win or lose and to start you get points for spending the directives which they haven't sourced yet those don't source until tomorrow unless you want to buy them today they'll sell them to you today but the way that they're going to come into the game is going to be through two different spots so when you do your you, you know your daily goal here Whatever one of your dailies is to get 50 helps, send 50 helps to your alliance members, and it gives you like a, a like 20 alliance tokens. It's also going to give you a little bit of the assault directives. And over here in your alliance bundle, this alliance altruism bundle that just gives stuff to help boost your alliance star base. If you do this turn in, which requires the the epic superior loot, that's also going to have the sourcing mechanism for these things. But because they rolled the event out in the middle of the day, neither of those things take effect yet. They won't go into effect until tomorrow when the events all reset. So the only way to get the directives today was to go in the store and buy them and guess how much they're selling those things for. Oh, wait, where is it? Where is it? Nope, nope. Nope. Tactical mandates. Oh, what's that? What's the, oh, for ninety nine ninety nine, we can get that pack. I mean, yeah, you get some extra materials and a whole bunch of dilithium and stuff with it, but it's actually a lot of speed ups. It's a lot of speed ups. Pack value wise, it's a pretty decent pack. There's a lot of good stuff in here. But the fact that this was the only way to get them today to actually participate in the event. That's kind of shitty, too. Could you buy the directives earlier than the event reset? Yes, they went live in the store at the same time. So people at 9.30, 10 o'clock this morning were attacking bases and, and scoring points because the event was live and the thing in the store was live. So the, but nobody really knew it was live unless you happen to just go in there and see it or happen to be browsing the store and happen to see, hey, what's this new thing for sale? Uh, you know, you didn't really know about it. Let's move on, because it gets worse. All right, the assault is based on doing damage. Deal damage. That's how your alliance scores, by dealing damage. And that's how you place on the old leaderboard here, by attacking stuff and dealing damage to stuff. And then there's a solo leaderboard. 
which has awesome prizes attached to it. Holographic cards. That's what we want so much to open those packs to try and get more of those strike team officers so we don't have to spend our event store currency buying them. But it requires you to deal damage during an assault. That's your number one and only scoring mechanism is to do damage during an assault. And what do these stupid freaking star bases do? Let me see if I can find it, see if it's on my clipboard. Maybe this will do it. See if it's still there. Ah, oh, it's not gonna still be on my clipboard. Hang on a second. I wanna get you the graphic. Some of you may have already seen graphics like this by now. Do do do, don't care about any of this stuff right now. This is all I care about is this picture. Bam, there we go. Alliance Starbase, 400 million. We got 50 million in ships attacking it. The very first thing this thing does at the start of round one is target a ship and shoot it for 1.2 billion damage. Ah, oh, it targeted me. Hmm, I was the smallest ship in the Armada, which is what it tends to target. Uh, but it targeted me. So I died right off the bat as I only mitigated 200 million damage. And my shields only absorbed 824 million, leaving 206 million to go through to my hull of 1.85 million strength. So I was insta-killed before I got to shoot anything. And since I didn't get to shoot anything, I didn't get to do any damage, which means I didn't get any scoring on the scoreboard. So I just got blown up for nothing. Beautiful. Beautiful event. Beautiful. <sighs> this event is so bad that they already announced a whole bunch of changes they have to make to it. Moo Moo 2, thank you very much for the follow. So bad, Eco put this out about 45 minutes to an hour ago now. We've seen a ton of feedback. Want to give everyone an update on some adjustments we're making. So, there will be a daily mission going forward that'll give you the tactical. So they're telling people how you're actually going to get the mandates to do it. We're also going to be adding PvP battles as a scoring option for the current run. And as soon as that goes live, we'll be sure to let everyone know. So they already realized the scoring on it is near impossible to do and absolutely sucks and the players hate it so much that they're changing the solo milestone. So now we actually might have a shot to get those holographic cards so we can get those packs and get those strike team officers that we want. Uh, the solo leaderboard event. This is also the thing that we really wanted here. We realize having brackets. Oh yeah, that's right. It's not bracketed either. It's just whoever does the most damage. So level 35s and level 60s are in the same thing in a damage-based event. Uh... They're going to give everybody a small amount of Ketracel and some holographic cards. We'll be adding brackets to the future runs of this event. Yeah. We've all been actively looking at community channels to see everyone's feedback on the new feature. Well, here's my feedback. <laughs> there you go. First take on the future. We're looking forward to reiterate based on feedback. Uh, fire whoever came up with this idea and start over. They also fixed the broken distilling rods for those of you who are having troubles with that. And the roadmap should officially come out tomorrow, about a month after they said it was ready and should have been released. So I guess we'll get to find out what's coming up for 2023 tomorrow. Maybe that'll be something we'll be talking about over with BHD8 Gaming, who I will be guest uh, appearing on their show tomorrow night, right around the same time, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, so about an hour 23 hours from now, uh, I'll be joining Dan and Synep and Welsh and the BHD8 gaming community, and uh, the roadmap will probably be something that we'll be chatting about, speculating about, and uh, seeing what kind of uh, interest and excitement we can get as we roll into to 2023. But that's my that's my take on my hot take, whatever on Alliance Star bases. Let's go to some comments. Bracket adjustment was frustrating. Oh, that changed in that. Yep. 
You think only two alliances have done them on your server. It's a very poor event. How it was launched was very dumb. Agree. Evil Jimmy says he agrees about the event. As a new player, it's absolutely horrible. Well, yeah, sure. If you're a new player, you can't really even participate in it. If you're, you know, if you're under Ops 23, you can't even start an armada because you don't have an armada control center yet. Your Alliance Starbase probably isn't built up to the point where you can even build the components for it. So people on some of the newer servers, you're really not even partaking in the event at all. It's kind of just, you know, unless you're one of the people who bought their way, like there are already, you know. Server 92 has been live for about three weeks. That's the new server that Rev created uh, his account on to do his sponsorship through. And there are already people who have bought their way to level 39 on that server. So if they've been doing that and they have their Alliance star bases up and running, maybe there's one or two alliances on some of those servers that are actually able to participate. But on newer servers, most of the players aren't really being involved in that event at all. Uh, super gun charges, recharges and fires every seven rounds. Yeah, so it shoots you to death at the beginning of round one, and then if you're still alive seven rounds later, it's going to insta-kill somebody else yet again. Uh, you know, if I had known that was the case, I just would have brought a Rialta. Um, oh, and the other fun thing about, uh, for those of you who haven't participated in any of these things yet, the instant that you join one of these things, even if you're not actually like in the top whatever spots that are going to make it, the instant you join one of these assaults, it counts as PvP attack and it immediately drops your base shield. So your base shield immediately goes down. It's like a 10 minute timer. So if your base shield... If you've already hit your, your 10 minute timer within the last two hours, well, now you can't, you know, you're stuck in that little loop there. Uh, even if you don't get picked for the Alliance, like there could already be like three or four people in it and it's already full. The instant you join two, your shield drops. If somebody bumps you out later, well then you just wasted a whole shield for nothing because you didn't even get to participate in the thing and you lost your base shield. I wonder how many people that caught by surprise too, may not have noticed that it dropped and then got attacked later. Hey, Moo Moo. Welcome on in. Someone has to take that first railgun hit. Uh, yes, yes. I, I was the human sacrifice that uh, allowed my alliance to, uh, to stick around and get something out of it. For sure. Server 71 is boycotting the sham. Only three alliances on your server have participated. We have one alliance that's very upset. They could be attacked. Sure. Yeah, I mean, getting attacked. People were cleaned out of their alliance resources before they even had a clue what the hell was going on. Because there was no in-game announcement. There was no big reveal. There was no Discord post like, hey, Alliance Starbase assaults are now live. It was just whoever saw it first quickly went, oh, crap, this thing's live. And maybe you're, you know, somebody in your alliance went and quick bought the directives and then you launched a bunch of assaults and you cleaned out half your server before they even realized what was going on because they weren't getting the alerts and they weren't getting, there was no notification about the event starting. Maybe you weren't online at that period of time. Maybe you were offline do, getting some actual work done, wait until noon for event reset and you come back in at, you know, 1130, 1145 and you're like, let's see what events we're going to have today. Why is our star base empty? 